Hi everybody, today I'm taking you on an excursion to one of my favorite places. This is called Coco Head Botanical Garden. And here's a sign that has the rules. So it says that it's not okay to ride bikes here or have fires and dogs can't come here. And we can look at the flowers and the plants, but at a botanical garden, you can't pick them. A botanical garden is a special place where they have plants from all over the world. So Auntie Lily is walking. She's going on her path and Auntie Carrie will go down my path. And I will stop and I'll show you different things in the botanical garden. The first thing we see is lots of trees that have flowers on it. And these flowers are called plumeria flowers. And they have a beautiful smell and people use them to make lace. So here are the plumeria flowers. There's a sign that says Loop Trail. So that's the trail I'm gonna go on. And below that, it says, please do not handle the plants. That means don't touch the plants. Some plants are poisonous and or may cause adverse reactions to you. So when we don't know what a plant is, we should not touch it because that's how some plants protect themselves. They're poisonous and they can make you itchy or um, the plumeria flower. If you pick it, there's a sap inside and if that gets in your eyes, that can hurt your eyes. So be careful. The best thing to do when you're in a botanical garden is to use your eyes and your nose and your other senses and keep your hands to yourself. Lily up ahead. Auntie Lily's walking in front of me, but I'm stopping to look at this beautiful tree or bush called Bougainvillea flowers. And if you look at them, it looks like they have flowers inside of flowers. Isn't that cool? They're all different colors. They're red and purple and yellow and orange. Remember when I took a walk in my neighborhood and I showed you Cocoa Head? Well, I'm on the other side of Cocoa Head Crater and inside of the crater, that's where this botanical garden is. And my house is up over the top of that hill is a little out of breath because I decided to run and I love running because it gets my heart beating and it moves the blood all around my body and into my brain. It also helps me to take deep breaths so I can clear up my lungs and I perspire and so that gets some of the yucky stuff of my body out and it makes me feel good. Look at that gigantic rock. So much to see when we take a walk. And the next place that we are coming to is the cactus garden. Do you know what cactuses are? Or cacti? Before we get there, I see a tree that I think is a kukuina tree. And there's lots of things that people use these nuts for. Oh, I see some cactus. I'm going to turn it off for a minute and I'm going to run up to the cactus garden. Okay. okay, here we are. Isn't that beautiful? Different types of trees and cactus. I love the round ones. They look like balls with spikes on them. I'll get a little closer so I can show it to you. So these are called golden viral cactus. What do you think it'll feel like if you touch it? <laughs> look at 
that one. It's so tall. And there's more on this side. I think this is a plant that I have at my house. It's called aloe. And people drink the juice inside of the leaves. They also use it if they have a sunburn. It helps soothe the burns. Has a lot of medicinal purposes. And look at that beautiful flower that comes out of that plant. Awesome. All right. So onward look I go. Look at this tree. This tree seems to be covered with cactus. Very interesting. And it looks quite old. And now we're coming all the way to the innermost part of the crater. We're right up to there. There's that wall. And whose house is on the other side? Yep, my house. All right, I'm gonna run some more. See you later. The first part of this trail is uphill and hot and dry. And sometimes I get discouraged and I want to stop and turn around, but I keep telling myself, keep going one foot in front of the other. Stop and rest if you need to, but keep going because the next part of the trail is downhill and it's fun. All right, I'm gonna make it up the hill and I'll get back when I reach the top. Okay, okay, I reach the top and now it's downhill. So I'm gonna do a video of my feet running because my feet have so much fun running down the trail. Here we go. Feet, are you ready? So this part of the garden is called the Hawaiian section. So they have plants that were here for a very long time. I think they were here maybe even before people were here. Oh, look at this tree. So they have name placards on some of the trees and they tell you what kind of tree it is and where it's from. This is called an Erythrina sandwichlisis willy willy tree. All right. Oh, that looks like a nice place to sit and rest, but I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, look at that. Looks like there was a tree that got cut down and that's what the inside of the tree looks like. Looks like it may have been hollow. Maybe there were termites living in there. It's quite beautiful. Do you know that tables and houses and all kinds of things are made out of wood from trees? Look at this. Looks like pods or some kind of fruits are hanging down from this tree. What do you think the name of this tree is? What would you call this tree? Well, there's a sign here that says it is a sausage tree. And yep, that tree looks like sausages to me. That's quite a well-named tree. All right. So I'm almost at the end of the trail. I went almost completely around the inside of the crater. And now I'm heading out. This is one of my favorite places in the trail because it's cooler here. I think maybe because the trees are taller and it's very peaceful. And there's this beautiful smell and I don't know where it's coming from and I don't know what kind of flower it comes from. I've never figured it out, but it's just really, really sweet and it helps 
see to feel good and get me ready for the day. Look at that tree. But I see something on top of the trees. Truck. Oh, that makes me sad. It looks like somebody got something sharp and wrote some letters on the tree. I don't think that's very nice. I don't think the tree likes it very much either. Now, these are my favorite trees because I always imagine that it could be a house if it was hollow inside. And I always imagine what it would be like to live inside a tree like this. Wouldn't that be cool? But of course, I wouldn't want to hurt the tree and do that. And this is called a baobab tree. And I believe it originated in Africa. It's very beautiful. Headed back to the beginning of the trail. Auntie Lily beat me today, but that's okay. So she'll be waiting for me at the end. And next to the crater, there's something called a stable. And a stable is a place where they have horses. So I'm not sure if there's any horses there now, but that's part of the stable. And sometimes if you're lucky, or if I'm lucky, I can smell and see horses there. Okay. So I'm gonna stop now and I will see you at the end of the trail. Here we are back at the beginning. There's Auntie Lily waiting for me. Did you have a good walk, Auntie Lily? Very good. Oh, look, this is a map. So this is a map of the trail that we went on. So we started here. Oops, can you see that? And we went all the way up here and all the way around the crater and back here again that was fun thank you for joining us and have a good day auntie lily say bye <laughs>